We'll have a moment of silent meditation and pledge to the flag. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll call this meeting of the Montegate County Commission to order. Today is Wednesday, July 3rd, 2024, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let the record reflect that all three commissioners are present. First item on the agenda is Consent and approval with our county administrator, Renata McClure. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You have 72 exonerations to approve for $397,081.86. 41 corrected tax statements for $365,301.96. <clears throat> Minutes for June 26, 2024, vouchers. General County, 285,431.13. Whole severance, 28,382. 911 1631.04 Chestnut Ridge Park 7108.07 Camp Muffley 3431.20 Mason Dixon Park $45 Mon County Center 385.88 Assessor's Valuation 5536.56 Purchasing Card Vouchers General County 100,483.68 911 $525 Chestnut Ridge Park 430.22, Camp Muffley 484.29, Mason Dixon Park 169.97, Mon County Center 464.72, and Assessor's Valuation 95.45 for a voucher total of 434,604.21. No budget revisions to approve. Position vacancies for boards and authorities are listed on our website and fiduciary orders for July 3rd, 2024. Do I have a motion to approve it, uh, consent and approval agenda items as presented? So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any additional fiduciary items? No, sir. Okay. Next item on the agenda is introduction of new employees, personnel changes. I received uh, two letters from the sheriff regarding the reclassification of uh, Captain Mark Ralston and Lieutenant... Um, Van Slipscomb. Um, they will be, they're currently working as administrators for him, but they are retiring as of the end of, well, they retired as the end of June. So um, they are going to be reclassified as Mark Rolson will be law enforcement administrator. Uh, salary is $7,010.01 per month. And Van Slipscomb, Lipscomb is civilian administrator. Um, same salary, seven thousand ten dollars and one cent. And that is their current salary. So. Correct. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve the positions as presented? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Just real quick, these gentlemen have worked for twenty five and thirty five years or thirty years respectively in the sheriff's department. Um, we appreciate their service. They've retired from the civil service aspect of the job, from what I understand and will be doing the same job as civilian administrators right. going forward in this new classification. They haven't, from what I understand, it's, it's important to note that they haven't taken calls as far as boots on the streets for some time now as they've been in this administrative role, however be it under the classification as a, uh, as a civil service employee. So this is, this, there's no change to the department other than the, the classifying from the retirement from the one to moving forward as special administrators and the others. So. Mm -hmm. We have a first and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any others? Uh, I do have one. It's really a, just a correction. Last week, uh, you all approved a Jonathan Thorne for Mecca. Um, he started on June 26th, but uh, they are, there was a misprint on the letter that you approved for his salary. Salary is actually $3,325.34. It's just a, a change of a few dollars. Okay. And move to approve that change. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Anything else? No, that's all. Thanks. 
Next item on the agenda is comments from the public. We will now open the comments from the public session of the meeting. Anybody wishing to be heard, please come forward. State your name. Uh, if it please the commission, my name is Rhett Dusenberry. I'm a district representative for Congressman Alex Mooney. I'm here uh, at the direction of the congressman. And it is a pleasure to be here on, the, on his behalf. And it's a pleasure to appear before the Montgomery County Commission. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna, if you'll indulge me, I'd just like to say what a pleasure it is to be the congressman's representative to this commission. Y'all do good, good government policy, uh, and uh, you're very, very attentive, uh, as you can be. Uh, you know, everybody didn't always get their way to the public and staff, and y'all, I, I uh, have to say, you do a good job, and I, I sit through a lot of commissions. So, <laughs> but I'm not the only one that says that you do a good job. The congressman dispatched me here today to read a letter of congratulations to the commission. And it's uh, addressed to the president. Dear Mr. Cora, I'm writing to extend my heartfelt congratulations to you and the Montgomery Commission on receiving the County of the Year Award Commission. And this incredible recognition is a testament to your excellent exceptional leadership efforts and dedication in making Montgomery County an example of excellence. Uh, your commitment to the county and countless hours of work put in to improve and ensure quality of life for the residents of Montgomery County is outstanding. Not only does this award highlight the remarkable progress made within the county, but also serves as an inspiration to other counties. I look forward to hear and see the continued success of Montgomery County under your remarkable leadership. It's an honor to serve you as your representative of Congress. If I can ever be of service to you, please contact my district office in Morgantown. Keep up the great work. Congratulations again, sincerely, Alex X. Mooney, member of Congress. Uh, number one out of 55. That's great. And uh, it's a great Thank example. Thank you. Thank you. That's a you all deserve it. Now the other 54 are deserving as well, and they'll just have to <laughs> wait till next year and see if they're chosen. Chosen, but thank you for uh, allowing me to uh, read this, and and uh, we'll get a picture after the uh, okay. meeting. Great, thank right. you again. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. That was a nice surprise. Thank you, yes, sir. Pass along to the congressman our thanks as well. Yes, yes sir. Thank you. I'll, I'll hold on to this. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ashley Zucker. I'm an international representative and organizer for the you know, my, United Mine Workers. Um, we just wanted to thank you guys today because since we've been coming to these meetings since earlier this year, you guys kind of brought light to the Bartlett House and how much it's struggling. So I just want to let you know that myself, my coworkers, and some of our members were able to do like a hygiene and cleaning item uh, roundup. And we got to drop it off. I dropped it off to Joe on Monday. And we're going to get another one together and drop off another one. But it's, it's important to shed light on struggles like that. And we would have never known for about it if we didn't come to these meetings. So okay. we just want to thank you. Well, thank you thank very you. much. Thank you. Uh, could great. you do me a favor? I don't think you mentioned your address. Just they, they... I'm actually a Pennsylvania resident. Okay. That's, that's right. So that's fine. <laughs> Still <laughs> give it to them? Or? Yeah, sure. Yeah. We always make sure we know to everybody's address. And okay. yeah. no, Thank that's you. That's great. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Go ahead and close the public session of the meeting. Next item on the agenda is grants. None. We have none? Okay. Moving forward, next item on the agenda is correspondence. None. Okay. Commissioner Arnett, do you have any correspondence? Just the same, I believe, that you have in your hand, but I'll just defer to... Uh, to you because I didn't bring mine in. So. Okay. I do have one. Uh, some sad news. It was sent to me uh, by uh, Steve Blinko. There is a spaghetti dinner fundraiser. I don't know if you know, but Star City Police Chief Jessica Colbank is now dealing with breast cancer. And they're having a spaghetti dinner on July 26, noon to 7 p.m. at St. Mary's Catholic Church. And they're asking people to show up. But that is a, a horrible situation and he did want me to pass it on to the commission so we could announce it but again that's for jessica colbank the okay. police chief yeah all right thank you tom i have two pieces of correspondence one is from an isabel lapo um and hello my name is isabel lapo i'm 19 years old 
Born and raised in West Virginia, I currently attend Mid-Atlantic Christian University in North Carolina as a sophomore applying for pre-law. I'm a 4.0 student taking 18 hours and playing collegiate volleyball. The reason I'm writing you today comes from a history of showing and selling FAA, FAA projects. I'm asking for your assistance to be part of this amazing program. Your bid and purchase of my animals not only help the funding of my college education, but can also help you. Um, from buying locally produced products to getting a tax write-off, your contribution is immense. This year I'll be showing at both the Mon County sale located in Wadestown and Montegated County Fair sale at Milan Park. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you. The Wadestown sale is August 17th at 6 o'clock, dinner provided. The Montegated County sale is August 24th. Free dinner, free buyer's dinner at 5 o'clock, sale at 6. Sincerely, Isabel LePoe. Um, I, yeah, and I also have another one from a Jane uh, Shriver. Shriver, mm -hmm. her name's a little, um, it's a little, uh, her letter's a little shorter. My name is Jane Shriver. Sorry, I'm messing up that name. I'm 13 years old and attend Clay Battelle Middle School. It's my second year as FA member. I spend my summer attending to my livestock, and I love it. I'd like to ask you to help this year as a contributor. The sale helps me prepare for next year's livestock as well as starting my college fund. You can never be too early when saving for college. This year I'm selling a turkey, rabbits, and two lambs. I'm super excited to show at both the Mon County sale and the Wadestown sale at Montague County Fair sell at Milan Park. The sale at Wadestown, so it goes on to give details. But uh, just thank you, uh, Jane and Isabel. And we'll make note of those dates. All right. And no unfinished business. New business. Consideration to approve the request by Sheriff Perry Palmer regarding awarding service weapons to Captain Mark Ralston and Lieutenant Vance Litscombe upon retirement effective June 30th, 2024. Move to approve the uh, awarding of both of those service weapons to their respective officers. Second. Okay. And this is a, um, a courtesy extended uh, to all retiring uh, deputies uh, that the commission, as long as, as long as they've come in front of me, I've noticed that, that we, we approve. So I uh, will. They have to be in good standing. Yes. And 20 years or more of service. Okay. Well, these guys certainly meet that meet that requirement. So we have a first and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Consideration to approve re reallocation of $30,000 from the Organizational Arts Grant directly to the Arts Council of Greater Morgantown for fiscal year 2025. Do I have a motion to approve the reallocation of awarded grant dollars as requested? So moved. Second with discussion. Yeah. Um, you could go ahead. What, the, what a clarification to make sure last they year understand. in our yeah. 2025 grant cycle, we awarded a hundred. We as part of our arts grant that is administered by YCF and Arts Council of Greater Morgantown, um, we contributed a hundred thousand uh, dollars. What they do with those dollars is that they that they match that with what the city contributes. Right. The city only contributed seventy, so they only use seventy of our, thousand of our dollars for that program. Um, Arts Council of Greater Morgantown actually submitted two grant applications last year. One was for the grant program that they administer on our behalf. The second was from for some relief in a, I guess the best way I could describe it is administrative relief in regards to what the Grant Arts Council does for the greater community. So when the city matched at 70, they came back and asked, uh, Susan Rado, I believe, who's their treasurer, came back and asked how we wanted to handle the other 30. And then threw out the idea of whether we would reconsider their ask, given, given the growth of the Arts Council and everything they have going on. Um, so we brought it back to the commission and the commission agreed. It doesn't change the amount of grant dollars that we've allocated for fiscal year 25. It just allows the Arts Council to utilize uh, 30K of those dollars for their administrative functions. So is that kind of everything you want to yeah, say? That's exactly what it is. Thanks. Okay, so we have a first and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 
Consideration to approve a request from Milan Park Aquatic and Track Complex for one-time funding of an advanced firewall in the amount of $7,734.56. Move to approve the request as presented. Second. Okay. And further discussion. Um, the staff at the Aquatic and Track Center at Milan Park actually worked out a deal with CityNet to repurpose some equipment that was currently used at Otterson Broadus College, right. which has not gone bankrupt and out of business. Uh, so it's a it's a great deal to be able to utilize that equipment and bring it to Milan Park to um, further the connectivity in the actual park. Um, so this firewall uh, piece of equipment is the last piece of equipment they need uh, to do the installation and it will uh, make Wi-Fi access a lot better in the park as, as we ex start to experience a lot of larger events uh, this summer at the park. So the, they reached out to us and said if we would, would we consider funding it and this is, <coughs> this is what we're doing. So we have a first and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Consider the cancellation of the regular meeting of the County Commission on July 17, 2024. Move to approve the cancellation of the meeting. Second. Okay. And one caveat that we uh, mentioned, when we cancel these meetings, we always make sure that somebody's available to do right. to deal with administrative uh, matters. Um, I had just suggested to the uh, administrator prior to this meeting that we probably ought to make that a stipulation in our rules of procedure that when we cancel a meeting, the president is or, or his designee would, okay. would be... Um, allowed to uh, deal with those administrative actions on behalf of the Commission and then we just report them in the next meeting so um, specifically what we're talking about is approving vouchers and since we have a deadline for uh, budget revisions of July 12th uh, there'll need to be some in-house budget revisions approved so um, I have no problem with uh, logging on and uh, checking those and approving approving them uh, so uh, I would have asked you to amend the motion and say that uh, we're <coughs> canceling meeting with the caveat that uh, uh, the president will be available to approve those administrative functions. Yeah, I'll, we'll amend the motion as requested. Second to approve that. Yeah. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Consideration to approve requisition number 11 for the University Town Center Series 23. A property tax district administrative expense fund. Move to approve. Second. Okay. Uh, requisition is for six thousand eight hundred ninety-three dollars and seventy-five cents, and the three requisitions you have will be for Municap monthly expenses. Okay. We have the first and the second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Consideration to approve requisition number eighty-nine for the University Town Center Excise Tax District Administrative Expense Fund. Requisition is for ten thousand eight ninety three seventy five. Move to approve. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Consideration to approve requisition number six for the series twenty twenty one B Harmony Grove Phase One Administrative Expense Fund. Requisition is for three thousand three thirty one twenty five. Move to approve. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. And any more new business? That is all. Okay. Next item on the agenda is reports from elected officials and or department supervisors. No. Okay, seeing none. Move on to reports from county commissioners. Tom? Sure. Um, the first thing is uh, Commissioner Arnett and I attended a meeting last night at City Council and we wanted to make it clear. We wanted to hear a Catholic Services presentation about uh, them managing the uh, homeless shelter in Ashley, I do appreciate that. Very, That is something very important to me personally, and I do appreciate that you and the UMW members did that. I think that's very important. Um, what was also important for us to hear was we wanted to hear it directly from the uh, CEO of what they were going to do and how they were going to move forward. And a couple things that I know Jeff was all, will also talk about it, but what was very important was that they were willing to accept reimbursements. They didn't, we didn't have to put a check up front, which was a concern that we had. And they would you know, send them reimbursements. The city also is planning to do that. 
even though the price tag is high. He stated that it's 450000 to 500000 They are hoping to get that $172,000 grant that was given to Bartlett House and use that, and they're working on trying to get that all worked out. So it means you're looking around three hundred fifty to four hundred thousand dollars that they need the funding to run this uh, program. One of the things that Jeff and I were waiting to hear, and at the end he finally did say it, is that this was a one-time year commitment because they are hoping to get uh, other funds through the state and federal grants so that we would not be paying that funding, but they needed it for the first year because all the budget line items are already been spent. So there, there, that was really important to hear. Um, I was really pleased that they wanted to move forward, and they made it very clear that the West Run project is separate from this one. They are only going to work on this project, and I thought that was really important. Um, there is one other thing that he did say, and I, I think it's really important. When he discussed it, he said that he wanted to talk to all the cities in Montague County, not just the city of Morgantown and Mon County. And I believe with the Supreme Court ruling that I believe it might be very advantageous for all the cities to put some funds in because if you read specifically the Supreme Court ruling, they could technically say that if there is no uh, homeless shelter in Star City, then they would have to provide an encampment. And by offering some funds to this project, then everyone's continuing a meeting uh, and meeting the goals of what the Supreme Court said. So that, that was really important. Um, the, the other issue, I did want to say that when uh, Commissioner Arnett and Commissioner Sakura and I sit down to look at the nonprofits, one of the suggestions when we were looking at funding was what are all the nonprofit agencies addressing food insecurity doing, and is there a way that we could uniform the process? We did have a meeting, and I'm pleased to say out of that meeting, I have a five-page document that does offer what each uh, nonprofit is doing, their name, who they serve, and also what they do during the summer. So this was a first step forward in providing information, and I appreciate the other two commissioners pushing this because it was something that was needed and we're going to move forward on this to see how else we can uh, work together and I appreciate you all working on that and just hope everyone has a good a safe July 4th and comes back with all fingers so you don't <laughs> you my works off okay Commissioner Arnett yeah. thank you uh, just piggybacking off that with we do appreciate Catholic Charities willingness to step in and assume the um, management of the Bartlett House facility. The the number one thing I was looking for, and, and Commissioner Bloom alluded to, is that the goal for the for Catholic Charities is to become self-sustaining yeah. in that unit for, within about three years. Um, they don't know they can do it any quicker than that, but that's the ultimate goal. So the, the idea would be any funding requests coming to government bodies would would taper down during that time period to where when when funding from the feds or funding from the state gets more stabilized that ultimately that would be a, a self-sustaining entity. Bartlett House ran self-sustaining for decades mm -hmm. um, with just an occasional request for grant funding um, from government entities and, and the hope would be that that would continue along. It's essential that we have an emergency shelter in Montague County um, and Hazel's House of Hope has provided an incredible location at a very affordable rent for one to um, stay there. So it's, it's something that we're, we're very much, all three of us, I think I can safely say, are very much interested in, in seeing it continue, and, and we're willing to help to make that happen. Um, secondly, uh, the, the, regarding the letters that, that, that Commissioner Scor read regarding the sales at uh, both the FFA, Clay Patel Alumni, um, sale and the, the the fair sale at the Mon County Center that those kids if you've not seen it, it, it mm -hmm. it's something to behold they work their tails off all year raising these animals and then offering for sale um, at the sale and and uh, that when we were presented with a proposal to help uh, build the new barn at the FFA Clay Battelle Center the emotion from the leaders of that group mm -hmm. as to how these kids react and what they put into it was something that really took all three of us um, we took it all to heart and we're happy to participate in that project. So if you get a chance, please go out, participate in the sale. Um, 
he'll he'll, he'll buy some bunnies or lambs or Sean's bought some every year that Amen. I think he's always given back. But uh, so uh, it, it's something worth seeing. And and as Commissioner Bloom indicated, uh, he might have been alluding to a, a meme that was on Facebook or something where uh, they had a picture of someone just enjoying their day. And they were saying, little did they know this was the last Friday this person would ever spend with all of their appendages because fireworks can be, uh, can be fun, but they can be dangerous. And uh, on behalf of dog owners out there, please yes. use moderation and just limit it to about a window of an hour or so on the 4th because uh, dogs run away when they get scared, and, it, and it's, a, it's, it's, it's a bad thing for animals. So I think they've switched to drones up in uh, at Nimicol, and they have a drone show instead of fireworks now oh, really? because of their animals up there and because of the dogs and the complaints from the neighbors. So anyway, happy 4th, and uh, that's all I have, Sean. It's been a little bit of a slow week, week uh, since the last meeting, last Thursday. We had a Milan Park Executive Committee meeting, and then we had our MMPO Policy Board meeting. On Friday, we had staff reports, and then I had a, our local broadband team, uh, a little bit of a wrap-up uh, meeting as our project management meetings start uh, in middle of July. Um, yesterday, I had a meeting with uh, Mayor Celine. Um, Mountain Line and MCR regarding the uh, bus route, and uh, I'll report to the, the commission on that as we're working forward to deal with uh, making sure that that uh, bus line, bus route uh, up into Hazel South, the hope continues. And then uh, the administrator and I had our pro proactive HR call. Today's a regular day, as obviously we're all aware. Uh, tomorrow's the 4th of July. Uh, please and enjoy the, the holiday uh, responsibly and sensibly. Um, I, I, I'd, I'd live that in regards to the fireworks. Uh, we were, we had fireworks go out. It was, we were going into a hotel, and my dog ran right underneath the car and got ran over. So uh, it, uh, you know, it, it happens, uh, but be safe and consider your animals and uh, the stress that it puts on them. So remarkably, it's been quiet this year for some uh, reason. Oh, uh, that kiss of death. <laughs> Not on. Yeah, yeah, kiss of death. Anyhow, um, I'll entertain a uh, motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Adjourn. Aye.